Hey, it's Richard Gaspard, House of Worship Market Manager for Presonas. You know, so much talk has been happening lately about streaming. And if your facility already has a network in place, say Dante or Maddie or ADAT Optical, I want to show you a really neat out-of-the-box thinking approach that we did at my church. When the church moved into their current facility, budget restraints kept them from installing a full 64-channel television audio system to match the channel count of their front-of-house mixer. So they installed a 64-channel MADI router, allowing them to still multi-track everything. With the advent of live streaming, the church wanted to be able to do a separate mix for broadcast without spending thousands of dollars on a new mixing system. Enter Studio One and Faderport 16. Because the church had the ability to track everything, we installed Studio One on their audio computer and a Faderport 16 for its control, using input monitoring through plugins and VCAs to get true post-production sounds combined with the ease of mixing for volunteers. Pulling from the MADI router, we set up a 64-track environment, sending each signal to its own track and arming them all. We included tracks having nothing on them, leaving them in the tracking environment simply as placeholders. Then, for all of our tracks containing actual signals, we assigned Dynamics processing to their inserts, then added reverb through a bus. We even added a separate bus compressor for the drums. For every active single track, we turned on input monitoring so that it could be heard in the mix. On the master output, we placed an overall compressor, EQ, and limiter, and even Studio One's binaural pan plugin to expand the stereo image. Once all of the channels were set up, we assigned each channel group its own VCA for a total of 15, including stereo audience mics and effects. And we placed them in a logical fashion, starting with drums, with the bus compression included, then percussion, bass, guitars, keys and tracks, live vocals, three pastor mics, stereo audience, and ending with effects, and we saved it all as a Studio One template so that a volunteer can easily start a new session every single time. On the Faderport 16, when banking all the way to the right, we ended up with the 15 VCAs as the first 15 faders and the master fader as fader 16. Should the audio volunteer need to adjust something on an individual channel, he or she simply goes to that track and makes the change. This system has worked flawlessly for over a year. There has never been a crash, and they have been really happy with the results. Another added benefit is that they can still track from time to time for special productions. So as you can see, if you already have an infrastructure in place, you can begin live streaming your events right now with Studio One and Faderport 16. It's just another way that PreSonus offers smart solutions to everyone so that you can make the most out of your productions in a budget-friendly way. Hey, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.